So Mrs Biggie and I were at a car show, just about to go home. We walked into the last room and it was full of cozies and so many awesome cars. And then we saw this fantastic Ford Capri. So we thought we'd speak to the owner. Little did we know the history behind it. Wow. Nice car. Nice. Is this yours, sir? It is me, yeah. So listen, I am with probably this is the last interview that we're going to do of the day. I'm with Lee. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you doing, buddy? I'm good, thank you, mate. How's things? Uh, chill. It's been a good day. It's been a good day. Yeah. I want to talk about your fantastic for Capri. Wow. What would you like to know? Wow. So, right, where did it start? I mean, the bodywork is beautiful. The engine looks like a cosy engine in there. Tell me a little bit about it. It was built by a good friend of mine in 1993. Yes. Um, he used to take it up the drag strip, Santa Ford, yeah. it's an 11 second car, um, he had it until 2016 when yeah. he passed it over to me yes. um, and we spent years restoring it together, yeah. um, essentially um, he passed away the week before we got oh, it finished, no. uh, me and a lot of his friends uh, scrambled together to get it finished so we could lead his um, funeral yeah. percentage uh, in for his funeral. Um, yeah. Essentially, I'm its cousin. I, myself and a few friends, we're its custodians. We all take care of it for him. Wow. And we bring it to shows, we bring all his trophies, his medals, everything. Um, wow. Just keep his memory alive. That is fantastic, absolutely. What a testimony. That, what a testament. Like, please tell me a little bit about the engine. Like, this so, looks fantastic. It's a fully built uh, Cosworth YB. Wow. It's got racing pistons, racing cams, it's got a fully ported head. It's got a T34 turbo on it. Yeah. It's running at the minute a safe 374 It yeah. can go more, but it's not needed in a car in this way. Yes. It, it is stupid. It's ridiculous how quick it is. Wow. Um, it's four wheel drive, so it grips as it should. Wow. And it's a testament, like you said, to the chap that built it. It was yeah. built for one reason, yeah. to dominate its class. In yeah. At York, it's wow, just yeah. an unbelievable piece. So I guess it's a dedicated drag, is it still used for competing in drag racing? No, um, sadly it went off the road in 2001, we took it to Max Power Live in 2001 yeah. and it started having engine issues, it was yeah. a show car, um, it used to do the drag strip at Max Power Yeah. and it started breathing heavily, yeah. it was taken off the road and in 2016 uh, we decided let's get it back together. And yeah. Lockdown came along. Yes, yeah. We had a lot of time to work on it. Yeah. And as I said, we just started throwing it back together, getting a rebuilt, getting it painted. Mm -hmm. And as I said, sadly, the week before we got it finished, he passed away. Wow, uh, that's so unfortunate. Yeah. Tell me a bit about the colour. This so, colour looks absolutely fantastic. It's, mechanic a, paint. it's a Cosworth colour, it's called Mallard Green. Um, right. Um, it's a specific shade of Mallard Green that was only. Um, issued to certain cars. Yeah. With it being a Cosworth, he wanted it to be rare, so he used the rare colour, put the Cosworth wheels on. Yes. Just so it gives it people that little hint that it is something a little bit special. Uh, yeah. A lot of people mistake it for a 280. Yeah. Because they are a similar colour. Yeah. But this will tear a 280 and you <laughs> genuinely. Yeah, you uh, can tell. There like is, there isn't much on the road keeping up with this. You know, your modern stuff, your, your, your fast Mercs, your fast Audis, yeah. yeah. Anything in its era, its class, it's yeah. just, it's an animal, it is an animal. It's fantastic. Now, we recently went to Goodwood Festival of Speed in the week, yeah. and we saw Ford reveal uh, Capri. Yeah. And it is <coughs> looks like an SUV. It's basically an electric SUV, which it is looks not like a Polestar. Yeah, which is not even a, like a representation of the original. Obviously, looking after this Capri and like the history and the testament behind it. What do you? What is your take on like Ford bringing out the new kind you've, of electric cars, which don't represent? They've labelled. They stuck a label on a car to ignite a, a little bit of nostalgia. Yeah. They might as well. They're not going to ruin the Capri name, but they've tarnished it because it yeah. is. It's a pole star with a bad job. That's all it is. It just looks like it's horrible. I mean, it's fast. They are stupidly quick. Well, wow. well, that ain't a Capri. Yeah. You know, you won't have that same vibe. Yeah. Um, this is a car. This, yes. This era, petrol, high horsepower, 
you get in it, you smell it, you drive it, you yes. feel it. There's no sensation in them cars. There isn't. Even back down to the like the um, Ford keys, like the, the <laughs> down the rounded Ford keys to the smell of the inside of the uh, the seats and everything. It's, it's nothing like it. It's just they've taken up. They've essentially they've taken away. Um, yeah. The, the, the feeling of driving a car with these EVs. Yeah. Um, have you driven one yourself? What one of these? No, it's no. Muted. no. You, might as well in, you, might, you might as well just be in a yeah. being driven, chauffeur driven. Yeah. You're doing it all for you. It's not every bump, every every little pothole. Yeah. You feel everything in a car like this, and that's yeah. where driving is. Exactly. And it gets driven. This gets yeah. driven. And it gets driven hard. And that's what we want to see. What's the next thing you'll do to it? If there was anything you need to do, we're going to redo the gearbox. Um, systematically, we're going all th through everything that needs doing. Yeah. Um, we're going to recon the, the power steering rack. Got a slight leak yeah. and gearbox recon, and then in winter it's coming off the road, everything underneath is getting stripped off, and it's having a full underbody rest up. Wow! So, my friend at um, ANS Motor Developments is going to do that for me, wow. um, and hopefully, we'll get it done this winter wow. and it'll be back out spring 2025, even better. Yeah, and where finally, where can people find you? Have you got an Instagram for the car? Yeah, it's at B654 yeah. Woo, it's, it's registration. Yeah, um, just click on there, all its history, it's been on top gear been on one of Clarkson's videos, mm. Clarkson's had it and borrowed it, yeah. uh, Vicky Butler Henderson's driven it, yeah. all its history's on there and even the history of the chap that built it as well, yeah. everything about him's on there as well. Uh, and this is a fantastic interview to end on, for the testament how you restored it for your friend who's sadly not with, with us but he's with us in the presence of this wonderful cut Ford Capri, yeah. a testament to yourself and other people. We have his photo with the car. Oh. Wow, and we've got his little fantastic. plaque that we had made for him, so yeah. he's with us, mate. It's, yeah, uh, with us, yeah, we take all this stuff stays in the car with it. Yeah, so it should. Thank you for your time, nice sir. Meet, Chris. Thank you very yeah, much. Well done, it's been absolutely fantastic. Cheers, dude. Wow, what a testimony. And after speaking with Lee, we realised this isn't just an ordinary Ford Capri. This is family. This is love. This is nostalgia. And this is friendship. And we were honoured to do this tribute video on behalf of Peter Ruster Kennedy. Thank you.